Lesson 4 teach you how to use element exists, get URL, get text, get attribute value, and select drop down button. First element exists, it waits for an element to appear on the website. I've already opened Amazon. I search total back. I want to tell the automation to wait until this image appear. So how could we do that? Let's create element exist button. Select expat selector. Use element helper to figure out the expat. Copy and paste into gen login. Time out refers to the maximum time allowed for this step of automation. If the element is found, the ring dot will be used. If not, the red dot will continue the automation. Click Start Automation. From the log window, Element Exist button successfully run. Next, we have Get URL button. It's very straightforward. This button saves an opening tab URL into a single variable. You can directly create a new variable by doing this. The new variable should look like this. Uh, let's start automation. The log window shows that the first item is exactly what we expect. Get text button, copy the text of an element, and then paste into the variable you want. I select expat selector and repeat the process. Copy, then paste into the box. I create a new variable, name of the first item. And the result is shown in the log window. Let's move on to get attribute value. The situation is, I want to copy this image link. So how could we do that? After click on the item of element helper, it opens a list of attributes, ALT, SRC. They are attribute names. To copy the link of the image, I select attribute names. SRC, which means source. Repeat the expat selector process. Then create a new variable. I will say link of the image. Hmm, let's see. Once again, the automation perfectly do the job. Drop down button is really helpful when it's come to register an account. In this case, I want to set the birthday. Apparently, those are drop down lists. So, how could we interact with them? Return to the drawing board. I create two select drop down button. Insert two commands above. The first one is select month, and the second is select day. In the drop down dialog, we are only allowed to use CAS selector, not expat. We should use inspect to know more detail about this website. Click and then right click. Copy, selector, paste into selector box. Option value is the specific value we want to choose. Come back to the browser, click to extend, and you can see a list of options. Remember to copy the value inside the quotation mark. Next, we apply the same technique to select day. Copy selector, then click to extend the option list. Double click the line to get the option value.
Insert Time Text button to time the year of birth. Okay, let's start automation. Wow, it worked. That's the end of lesson four. See you next lesson.